this idea of can science prove or disprove the existence of God. This is a big one we get a lot of times as scientists. We just really want to know, okay, all this stuff you know in science, can you prove this? All right, just as a reminder, from a couple of weeks ago, this is kind of my tenets of how I build my understanding of science. Is there three things that you cannot do, do not exist in science? You don't prove anything. There's no truth in science. I have to watch how I do my fingers. And, and there's no fact in science. So back to the name of that title that a prominent science, faith versus fact. He wasn't even asking the right question. We don't have facts in science. As I've said, all science is tentative. If we still had facts in science, we probably wouldn't be in this room today with the technology surrounding us, right? We would be sitting out around a fire somewhere with a minimal spoken language at best, throwing rocks at each other. Some days we still do that. That's another story, right? So this idea of facts, tentative, things change. Do we prove anything in science? You know, the example I gave you was the fairies painting the sky blue. You know, a perfectly good testable hypothesis, so to speak. It's a testable statement. Well, we know better than, than that. At least we think we do, right? As somebody pointed out, maybe they're dressed in black like ninjas, so you don't see them. Or it could be all those little stars we're seeing up there. Actually, they're flashlights while they're working to paint the sky. I, I don't know, maybe. We didn't prove anything. Now we have evidence to support or refute a statement that we make, but we don't prove anything. And, and I'll still contend with this question. Back to putting God in a box. You know, it was um, the comedian Brad Stein was the one that made the statement, you know, when I talk about somebody wanting a God that they can understand, how stupid is that? As we just said earlier, how many of y'all have done stupid things? I raise both hands because I do it on a regular basis, right? But a God that we can understand, the thing that created this universe and everything around us, the song we sang was a perfect opener to that. God wonders beyond our galaxy. There's a lot of wonders in the galaxy. You know, I wonder when I look at an oak tree how all of that actually works. All of that around us. And we can understand a very small part of it. So proving, disproving the existence of God is not a question to even ask of science. Science is not capable of doing that. 